I want to talk about uh, the NFL playoffs. The NFL playoffs has been everything that I wanted to see. The the games have been electric. It's been amazing. Um, that subscribe Sandy. I always call him San Diego, but the Chargers versus the Jaguars game was so great because, like, the beginning of the game, I was, like, watching it with one of my boys. I was like, man, like, Lawrence is good, but the the game is moving too fast for him. He's going to throw a couple more picks. He do, he already threw one pick, and I said, he's going to throw more picks. And my boy's like, nah, he got this, he got this. I'm like, dude, the game is moving too fast for him. So four picks later, they're down 27 nothing, 27 nothing. They kept fighting, kept fighting. They score right before halftime. And he caught up to the, the pace of the game. And they came back and beat the Chargers. Excellent, great game. I thought the Miami versus Bills was a great game. The Bills, it, that looked like a runaway train. And Miami brought it back within three and couldn't close the deal. I thought they, them getting the ball with four minutes left with no timeouts and they was like at their own eight, that was like the pivotal part of the game to winning. And, you know, but it was still a great game, still an excellent great game. The Vikings and the Giants game was very exciting to watch. Um, it was nothing but amazing games. I even thought uh, the Bengals and the Ravens game was uh, an amazing game. I thought uh, the Ravens was going to beat them. I really thought that. And um, I think uh, the change of the game was was uh, the, the goal line play with, with Huntley and he reached over and he, he thought he scored and they, you know, the fumble, they took it to the house. I thought that changed the game completely. I honestly believe if they would have scored right then and there, that game would have been over. Even though the Bengals have a, a history of coming back at the end and winning games, but I thought Baltimore had them. I thought Baltimore had them. Uh, I believe if they had Lamar, that they would have won that game. I honestly believe that. But they didn't. And they didn't. <laughs> they didn't have them and they didn't win. So, you know, shout out to the Bengals. They earned that win and they earned that game. So, um, but the rest of the playoffs, though, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to give you all my predictions. So you have the Giants playing the Eagles. That's going to be a very good game. Um, Subscribe. Their head coach on the Giants. Brian Danball has had the Giants playing really good and, and believing. Um, Philly is probably the most completed team in the NFL. I heard Gilly the Kid and uh, I seen Stephen A. Oh, I seen Gilly the Kid and Wallow's interview with Stephen A. Or Stephen A. interview with Gilly the Kid and Wallow. And, you know, Gilly feels like uh, Hurts deserves the MVP. And not to jump ship here, but he's equally deserving of the MVP. But I just felt like if if you took, and the Chiefs is my team, but I believe if you took Miles Sanders and put him on the Chiefs, that he starts. I believe if you put, um, you know, the Eagles receivers on the Chiefs, that those Eagles, Eagles receivers will start when you talk about Brown, uh, you talk about the rookie from Alabama. Um, I think th these guys start immediately. So I think, you know, outside of Kelsey and a couple of guys on the offensive line, I think overall Philly has a better supporting cast on their offense. But Hurts deserves MVP consideration. And who knows? He may win the MVP. I'm hoping for my guy Patrick Mahomes. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, but with that being said, I honestly believe Hurts being sidelined for a couple of weeks does affect his performance this week. Um, I do think Philly overall will be affected by that because he is the quarterback. Um, and the Giants is just believing. Daniel Jones, 
I've I've said it before. I'm Subscribe. not a big fan of Daniel Jones, but he is effective and he can be more effective if you use him the right way. Um, I'm not rooting against Daniel Jones, but from overall, from what I've seen, he has made improvement. So I can't hate on that. This is not about hate. This is about what I'm seeing on film and on paper. He's throwing the, he's throwing the ball better. He's running and reading better. But it's, it's still that little angst of turnovers. He he fumble. He you know he he would turn that ball over if he fumble or throw a pick. So I don't think. Even though he has those skills, I don't think he is yet to be the overall leader on the field when you say, like, okay, because Daniel Jones is playing, we're winning this game. Um, but he's, he has played well so far. Um, so, Eagles-Giants, Eagles-Giants. In this particular game, believe it or not, I think Overall, the Giants will win this game. Because I think Hurts is going to be affected from his injury. So I think it's going to be very hard for them to move the ball up and down the field. Especially in critical times of the field. When you look at the Giants, the Giants are healthy. They're playing inspired football defensively. And offensively, they find them ways to get to the end zone. So, and and the Giants is very unorthodox. So, um, with the Eagles, you know what you're going to get. You know what you're going to face. You know what you're going to see. But I think it's going to be an extremely tight game. And I think the game probably ends up, you know, 24 to 20, 24-21. So, I have the Giants beating the Eagles. Um... Cowboys, San Francisco 49ers. Uh, it's going to be an amazing game. An amazing game. Cowboys played so well against Tampa. 49ers did what they needed to do. I think the Cowboys are going to get them. I think the Cowboys is going to get them. Mainly because I believe that the quarterback play... Uh, the backup Purdy, he's the third quarterback of their team. He's 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 done what he needs to do. I don't think they lose because of him. I think they lose because I don't think the 49ers defense is going to show up in this particular game. They may play well for the first three quarters, but they're going to give up a couple of big plays because Subscribe. Dallas believes as well. And Dallas... Is one of those teams that offensively they already play unorthodox. They play unorthodox. You don't know where the big plays is going to come from. That's scary. You think CeeDee Lamb is going to give you the big play, but they just won a game without CeeDee Lamb really giving you super big plays. So you just never know where the big play is going to come from. Tony Pollard is a, is a factor. Um, Zeke is not the same, but he's still a factor. When you throw him them screens, when you give him... Those those ISO uh, runs, he's still a factor. Um, their tight end is a factor, so they're very unorthodox. So and their defense is playing so opportunistic. So I have Dallas playing the Giants for the NFC East, and I believe that <sighs> I believe. That the Giants will will represent the NFC East in the Super Bowl. Now, when it comes to the West, I'll make it even faster. I believe, obviously, my Chiefs is going to take care of business against the Jaguars. But that game is going to be extremely tough. We should not be looking past the Jaguars at all. They're an extremely tough team. They're balanced. And their defense is very is very good so i think we're gonna have our struggles with them but i do believe we win um as far as the Bengals, and uh we have the Bengals and the bills call me crazy but 
I, I think the Bengals got them in this game. I, I, I just have to go with the Bengals. The Bengals is one of those teams that could score when, like, they could score. Like, you could you could hold the Bengals down for two quarters. And in the third quarter, they just score four touchdowns. They're that electric fine. Their, their receiving core is amazing. You got Joe Mixon in the backfield. You got Joe Burrow. And that defense has been doing enough to win games. Um, I think this week is a little, I don't want to say easier. It's, this is a, a, a very hard test because you got the Bills defense. Who is the Bills defense? You have the Bills having one of the most versatile quarterbacks Subscribe. in the league. They have a good receiving core. I don't think their running game with their backs makes the Bengals fear the running game. What you fear is uh, Allen's scrambling ability. But I believe that you could you could slow that down a bit more with the Bengals personnel, particular personnel, by using spies and making the game or, or the field smaller for um, for Allen. Um, and I don't think the Bills' offense is as explosive as the Bengals. So I'm going to have to go with the Bengals. So I believe the Bengals will play us, the Chiefs, in the conference championship. I'm going with my Chiefs just because I'm going with my Chiefs. I believe we're going to get revenge from a year ago. We was... We was we was putting the wood to the Bengals, and to their credit, they came back and beat us. Um, but I think we get revenge. And we end up in the championship in the in the Super Bowl, playing against the Giants, and the Chiefs will be the Super Bowl champions once again. All is right in the world. Okay. <laughs> so that's it for anything goes. Subscribe.